I have been married to my husband, David, for 20 years. We're not particularly wealthy, but we have a nice home and have led a peaceful, happy life. We've been blessed with two children, our son Henry, currently studying at a nearby college, and our daughter Olivia, who helps around the house voluntarily when I come home late from work, for which I'm deeply grateful. One day, David brings home wonderful news. He's been promoted after years of hard work and dedication. Not only that, but he's also being transferred to a different department. I'm overjoyed for him, knowing how much effort he's put into his job. I can't help but hope this means a race too. To celebrate, the kids and I plan a special dinner. The next day, Jan and I prepare all of David's favorite dishes, while Henry surprises us with a cake he bought with his own hard-earned money from his part-time job. David is thrilled and enjoys every bite, praising the meal's deliciousness. As we're finishing the cake, David says something unexpected. You know, I'm actually seeing someone from work. David drops the bombshell, leaving us all in shock. I struggle to process his words, and the children are equally bewildered. David continues, she's pregnant, and this is my house, so you all have to leave. Panic sets in as I try to comprehend what he's saying. Wait, do you even realize what you're saying? I managed to stammer out. She's 10 years younger than me, and she's really pretty. I'm not interested in an old woman like you anymore, David adds callously. The children, particularly Henry, react with a mix of anger and disgust. You've got to be kidding me, Henry explodes. How could you say something like that? Olivia, still in high school, is visibly distraught. David's callous remarks hit her especially hard. A girl doesn't need education. She'll always find a way to earn money if she can sell herself, he adds, further fueling our shock and anger. In that frozen moment, anger surges within me. I find myself yelling at my husband, unable to contain my outrage. How dare you say that to your own daughter? I can't believe this. I shout, watching Olivia flee to her room in tears. You're no father to me, she cries out, her words echoing through the house. In the midst of the chaos, Henry follows Olivia out, his anger palpable. As they leave, I'm left to confront David alone, grappling with the betrayal and hurt he's inflicted upon our family. David and I sit in the living room, engulfed in a heavy silence. Eventually, David breaks the tension. Okay, so that's that. I'll be generous and give you one more week before you leave this house, he declares, his tone dismissive. I take a deep breath before responding, fine, but I'm taking custody of the children. I have no use for them. You do as you wish. David's response is callous. Don't come complaining to me whatever happens, though, he retorts, not bothering to meet my gaze. My mind reels at his words. This was supposed to be a night of celebration for my promotion, but it's turned into a nightmare, shattering everything we've built together. The next day, I reach out to a friend who's been through a divorce for advice. With their guidance, I hire a private detective to investigate David and his lover. As the detective's report comes in, I learn that she's a temporary worker at David's office and my suspicions about her motives grow. With the evidence mounting, I secure a new apartment and move in with my children. Despite the challenges, we're managing thanks to my job and some savings. Away from David, Jan seems to be finding some peace, and we're slowly rebuilding our lives. As I prepare to confront David about our divorce, I decide to bring my lawyer along for support. When I suggest meeting at our former house, David scoffs, claiming there's no need for a lawyer. But I'm determined to protect myself and my children, no matter what he says. Despite David's mocking laughter, I strive to maintain my composure and refrain from reacting outwardly. However, internally, I am seething with anger 
imagining violent scenarios involving my husband. It becomes apparent that his lover, Samuel, has already moved into our home, replacing the decor with her own choices. The sight of pink curtains adorned with cute flowers, undoubtedly her preference, fills me with revulsion. As Samuel dismisses any responsibility for the situation, claiming it has nothing to do with her, I feel an overwhelming urge to confront her. My lawyer steps in, asserting our intention to seek compensation. Samuel's response is irrational, denying any obligation and resorting to offensive remarks about my appearance. Grateful for my lawyer's presence, I suppress the urge to retaliate physically against Samuel's provocations. Before tensions escalate further, Samuel hurls a cup of coffee at me, citing her pregnancy as justification for her behavior. In the midst of the chaos, I realize the importance of maintaining my composure and relying on legal recourse to address the situation. Though infuriated by Samuel's actions, I remain determined to navigate this challenging situation with grace and dignity, with the support of my lawyer by my side. As Samuel cozies up to David, insinuating her entitlement, I feel an overwhelming urge to react, seeking approval from my lawyer to retaliate physically. However, he remains composed, offering me a handkerchief in response to my emotional distress. Meanwhile, David wears a contemptuous smirk, reveling in Samuel's affections, fueling my desire to distance myself from both of them. Summoning the divorce papers I had prepared, David swiftly signs them, eager to sever ties with me. In return, I calmly affix my signature and entrust the documents to my lawyer for immediate submission. Yet, before departing, I seize the opportunity to confront Samuel with a pressing question, the paternity of her unborn child. As tension fills the room, Samuel's subtle reaction betrays her unease, while she vehemently defends the child's lineage. Unfazed, I present incriminating evidence suggesting otherwise. Evidence of her involvement with a young musician, casting doubt on the child's paternity and exposing her deceit. In the wake of my revelation, Samuel's facade crumbles, confronted with undeniable proof of her infidelity. With a newfound sense of clarity and vindication, I take solace in the truth revealed and resolve to move forward with grace and dignity, leaving behind the toxicity of my failed marriage. David's face flushes with anger as he scrutinizes the incriminating report. Confronted by his betrayal, Samuel stammers, unable to provide a plausible explanation. David's fury erupts, hurling accusations at Samuel, who retaliates with venomous insults. Witnessing their chaotic exchange, I find myself speechless, almost amused by the absurdity of their behavior. Resolute in my decision to leave the toxicity behind, I calmly assert my intention to proceed with the divorce. David's desperation leads him to retract his words, pleading for reconciliation, but I remain steadfast in my resolve, bidding him farewell as I exit the house, leaving behind the tumultuous scene. Subsequently, I learn of Samuel giving birth to a child with a complexion distinct from both hers and David's. Her dishonesty unravels, exposing her infidelity with multiple partners, including an African-American man, casting doubt on the child's paternity. Consequently, David expels Samuel from his life, while I receive compensation from her parents and extend forgiveness through my lawyer. As David grapples with the consequences of his actions, struggling to secure stable employment, I focus on nurturing my children in a positive environment. Despite Henry's lingering anger towards his father, I encourage him to channel his emotions constructively. Meanwhile, Olivia embraces her high school experience with newfound vigor. Though I accept the inevitability of mistakes, I instill in my children the values of sincerity and integrity, hoping they will navigate life's challenges with honesty and integrity. Amidst the chaos, I find solace in the tranquility of our newfound happiness, 
cherishing the opportunity to guide my children towards a brighter future.